so today I'm going to talk you through the practical chromatography. You do this a lot at school, so you will be familiar with it. Um, if you haven't done it yet, you will do it at some point. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at doing it with things we've got around the house. So in school it works really well with chromatography paper, but here I'm going to be using kitchen towel. So for this experiment you need your kitchen towel. You can use filter paper if you've got coffee filters, you can use tissue paper, anything like that um, that absorbs water will work brilliantly well. You then need um, either a glass, I don't have a very tall glass um, so I'm going to be using a bottle today and I just need the bottom part of water, you only need maybe two centimetres of water in this. Then I have my felt tip pens, so I've got three here, I've got a purple, a blue and a red, a pair of scissors, paper clip and then something to hold uh, the paper suspended in the water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to cut one strip of this paper down here. You don't want it too thick because you want it to be able to sit inside your bottle or your glass. Fantastic. So now you've got that, you need to draw a pencil line about two centimetres up and it has to be in pencil. If you do this in pen, the pen will spread, it will run in the water and you won't get a very good result. So you're going to do it about two centimetres up. So I'm going to draw a line. There. Okay, so that marks the start point of your colours. Then you're going to pick your three colours and put three dots here. One of each colour. So I'm doing my purple, I'm going to do my blue, and I'm going to do my red. If you're likely to forget what they are, I'm going to put in pencil, because it's insoluble, a little p, a little b, a little r. So this is your start setup to go with. So now what you're going to do is you're going to suspend that in your water. You need to be careful that the dots do not submerge, they don't fall into the water, because then the colour will run and again you won't get that beautiful spread of colour that you're after. So I'm going to suspend it in slowly. I don't know where it's right. There we are. And now it's there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to paper clip it to stay in place. Now whilst it's running, you can already see the colours starting to spread. One really good thing you can do with it, if you have another device, is to put it in front of a time lapse. So I'm going to put it here, so I can show you later, as a time lapse for how the colour is spreading. So I'm going to leave that to run. Now the trick is that once that's spread, you'll get some awesome uh, things like this. So this is one I did earlier using the exact same colours. So I can see that my purple has spread. So my purple contained a bit of blue, contained a bit of pink. My red was here, didn't really separate that much. And my blue started separating here and started to move up. The further up the colours move, the more soluble they are. They, they are almost as soluble as the water. And if you think about washable felt tips, they'll spread a lot. Another experiment that you can do, as well as testing any sort of felt tips that you want, is if you test Sharpies. So I've tested Sharpies here. My Sharpies do not wash off with water. They are not washable. They are permanent markers and permanent markers means they're insoluble, they don't dissolve in water. So when I did my dot of red, purple and blue, I've suspended this in the water and they haven't moved up at all. This shows me they're permanent markers. It's really interesting. So you can do this with as many different colours as you like. So here, I used a few different colours and I was looking to see if they separate, but what I actually saw was these are so soluble because they spread really quickly, really far up the paper. So I probably need a longer piece of paper to test them. Okay, So you can do this as many times as you like, you can do it in all different shapes. I've done a strip of paper but there's no reason you can't use a bowl and use different shapes. So for example if you were to do a circle in fields of paper with your coloured dots around the outside and suspend it, you can see all your colours merge into one. So get creative, have a go at this experiment um, and see what you can do.